Did you know that over 60% of people admit they've used big words to sound smarter? It's like academic aestheticism. It's all over your social media feed. Instagram captions that read like Shakespearean sonnets, Twitter threads packed with philosophical musings and medium essays that could rival graduate theses. It's as if overnight, everyone has become a philosopher or wants to appear that way. Academic aestheticism refers to the stylization and romanticism of intellectualism and learning, often depicted through visually appealing imagery and sophisticated language. And the aim is to make learning appear glamorous and attractive, portraying a broader culture of intellectualism. The roots of academic aestheticism can be traced back to the aesthetic movement of the late 19th century. And this movement emphasized art for art's sake, rejecting the notion that arts should have a moral or political purpose. This philosophy celebrated beauty and form over practical, ethical, or narrative considerations. Scholars like Walter Pater and Oscar Wilde were instrumental in promoting this idea, arguing that pursuing beauty was the highest goal of art and life. Academic aestheticism today borrows heavily from this historical backdrop, but adapts it for the digital age. With stages like Instagram, Pinterest, and Tumblr, visual appeal plays a significant role in the perception and adoption of concepts and lifestyle. Dark academia and minimalist aesthetics, strongly associated with academic aestheticism, provide visually striking and easily shareable content that fits perfectly into the curated feeds and social media. And these aesthetics offer a picturesque version of studiousness that makes pursuing knowledge desirable and fashionable. Yet, the veneer of intellectualism can easily mask pseudo-intellectualism. Take, for example, Taylor Swift's songwriting, which is praised on platforms like Reddit for its poetic depth. Some fans argue that her album, The Tortured Poets Department, represents the pinnacle of lyrical poetry and pop music today. But is this a case of genuine artistic depth, or are we just caught up in beautifully packaged yet ordinary ideas? Swift's work illustrates how artistic expressions are sometimes elevated to scholarly heights, potentially blurring the lines between true poetic craft and skillful marketing. And this trend exemplifies the modern drive to appear more learned and cultured than we might be, leveraging the aesthetic of intellectualism for broader appeal. Here's the pickle. In an environment brimming with likes, shares, and quick content consumption, distinguishing genuine intellectual depth from mere linguistic showboating is increasingly challenging. The rapid pace of social media encourages more style than substance where convoluted language often masks rather ordinary ideas. Moreover, communication experts argue that this phenomenon can lead to a pseudo-intellectual echo chamber, where more interesting vocabulary circulates more widely regardless of the quality of the thoughts it conveys. And while this idea has been applied more to disseminating fake news, this environment makes it harder for individuals to discern intellectual content and pressures content creators to prioritize ornate over clear and meaningful communication. But here's a puzzling contrast. While academic aestheticism thrives online, interest in formally studying academic subjects like the humanities and English literature is declining. These statistics show that despite the online buzz, fewer students commit to these fields in their academic pursuits. What does this tell us? Academic aestheticism purportedly aims to engage deeply with specific subjects, but it's become more about crafting an appealing intellectual persona. This trend includes embracing study aesthetics and productivity, often showcased through artfully arranged desks, glorifying busy scholarly lives and snapshots of coffee cups alongside open textbooks. The appearance of being studious seems more attractive than the actual study itself. And does this aesthetic-driven approach help foster a genuine appreciation for learning, or is it simply a superficial layer over a lack of genuine scholarly engagement? But here's the twist. There might be benefits to academic aestheticism. While it's tempting to dismiss the ornate language and pretty posts as mere spectacles, those who crack open their books on display and engage with sophisticated ideas can leverage intellectual advantage. Engaging with challenging texts, whether literary classics, philosophical essays, or dense academic papers, enhances cognitive functions like critical thinking, analytical skills, and creativity. And music has a similar effect. So there may be something to listening to Taylor Swift. There could also be something to all the pretty pictures posted on social media. The beauty and elegance often associated with academic aestheticism can make learning a more pleasurable and engaging experience. This, in turn, can lead to deeper and more enduring learning outcomes. 
So while the surface might sometimes be all about the aesthetic, academic aestheticism could indeed flex our mental muscles, providing a blend of cognitive, cultural, and motivational benefits. Significant depth and intellectual growth can weight those who are willing to engage beneath the studious facade. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe. It's free, but your support helps keep the channel going. And you'll be the first to know when new videos are released. And until next time, this might be a good one to watch.